Hi doll. Giant murder cat here. Welcome back to my kitchen. Uh, last time we were in my kitchen, we didn't have a whole lot of luck, so I'm hoping for some good vibes. Today, I thought I would make a little nice meal for us. Um, I am a cat with very high standards, so I figured I would go with something that would live up to those standards. We've got this very nice hamburger helper. I, I picked the tuna variety, so I'm gonna make this bitch today. So, the ingredients. Normally you cook it in a skillet, but I don't believe in skillets. I believe in a pot. So we'll go ahead and turn this on. And normally I go for like an eight to get it boiling. Even though your water's already hot. So it's a cup and a half of hot water. Go ahead and let's get that going. And if I remember correctly, it's like two something. Nah, it's a cup and three thirds, three fourths, I mean, of the milk. I only have one pitcher, so let's watch me measure some milk. I'll actually do some of the measurements on camera for you guys. It's a very cheap measuring cup, so it doesn't actually have a mark for it, so I just gotta kinda guess and hope for the best. Looks about three fourths to me. Get that good boy in there. Big pro tip. Dishwashers suck and they cost a lot of money, so always have a prepared dish sink ready for yourself. So you can just throw shit in there and wash it later. And then the last thing that needs to go in there is our butter. Now I'm going to stick my thumb right in it. That's part of the process. Alright, so we're going to hope for... Let's see. Yeah! Alright. In the disc sink. Alright, so next up... I didn't pre-open the box. Cause I thought it'd be really funny to watch me try to open it. So we're gonna see how long that lasts. Cool. So we have a couple Lost survivors. They're good. We don't need all of them. Now getting the packet out of here without dumping it in the pot is going to be my favorite part. Oh, I thought I had it. Alright, so we're just going to start dumping some noodles. Oh no, the packet went in there! Yeah, you get it? You wanna dump that packet in there for me? I hold this. Hell yeah. What's up guys? Daily Vlog number one. Let's kick it in the kitchen. Making some tuna helper for my lovely YouTube subscribers. Yeah. Look at that. Alright, you can take that back before I break it. Alright, so we don't need rules in this abode. I'm throwing them away. We don't need rules. This is my kitchen. So, we watched this fun thing come to a boil. My favorite part about Tuna Helper is the fact that you literally just throw everything in there 
wait till it comes to a boil and you just cook it down. Oh, I forgot the tuna, the most important part. All right. Cute little bowl I bought. Alright. In the dish sink. So as I was saying, you just throw everything in there, wait till it comes to a boil, mix it around some, bring it back down to a simmer, cover it, and then you basically just walk away. Super simple, super easy, super tasty. Um, so that's why we're gonna season it. So I got my little bowl of seasoning salt here. And we're gonna give this a little salt bay. Did, even, did I even grab any salt at all? Yeah, wait, some more. So, there we go. That's all our fun ingredients. Come in with this little fungi. So I highly recommend non-stick cookware. Don't use ceramic, ceramic sucks. If you use ceramics, unsubscribe. We are non-stick only in this YouTube channel. So we're gonna let that come up to a boil and we'll come back. All right, so we've got a nice roaring boil. Boil. We got a nice roaring boil going here. So that means you bring down the temp to about, I normally do about five. Cause you just want it to simmer after it boils. This way, the noodles are getting the most absorption as possible because if you're just boiling, you, as you see the, all the steam, you're losing all your moisture so your no noodles aren't going to be as tasty. So I like to make sure it's on a simmer and not just keep it on a boil. Sure, yeah, it takes longer. Who knew there was actually a little bit of science into some hamburger helper. So the text as we've thrown away. Normally it says it takes about 12 minutes. They're all about like 10, anywhere from 10 to like 15 minutes, depending on what you're making. It's kind of bullshit. It depends on what kind of pot you're using. Like I said, I like using these pots because when it's a skillet, I feel like if the noodles don't get as tender because there's more surface area. So more surface area means more water evaporating. So when you have a smaller pot, with wider, it gives it more time to actually absorb into the noodles rather than you just having cooked noodles with no flavor. So you let the simmer, you check it every once in a while. And like I was saying with the non-stick -stick pits, non-stick non pots, the perk to having that is you can literally just like walk away for like four or five minutes, do what you're doing, come back and be like, oh yeah, stir it a little bit so I normally what I'll do is like I'll set a timer and like I normally will be like making this while I'm like doing the dishes or like getting laundry started to fold then I'll come in give it a good old mix walk away if you're not using a non-stick pot do not do that because it will stick to the bottom and it will burn and it'll be terrible and if you burn hamburger helper you should feel bad about yourself so we're gonna come in here very important whenever you are lifting a lid very important text whenever you are lifting a lid from a boiling or simmering pot lift it away from yourself as a barrier like it's a shield so that steam doesn't come into your face drain off that water put it on a little pot holder because by the time that that's done normally that's glass so Glass normally kind of cools down pretty fast. Then you come in here, give it another little boil. Give it some ASR. Let's 
some nice boiling ASMR in there. So get a little mix, make sure nothing's sticking. Make sure you have a little dish to put your stuff in that like actually works. I should have got a wider one. There we go. And you come back over. Now the perk doing this in fursuit, I don't need an oven mitt. I can just grab shit. But please be careful if you don't have paws. And I don't recommend using your paws unless you know what you're doing. This is actually, fun fact, why I purposely bought a set of five claws even though my character has four paws. This is the secret reason to buying this set of paws. It is purely for this kind of stuff. So before I have a bunch of people in the comments going, oh my god, your poor fursuit paws, they're going to be gross. I have two sets of paws and these ones are cleaned anytime we do any activities like these. So don't worry, normally when you see these, these are only for skits, stunts, etc. So there's that. So I'm just gonna let this do this thing. Nothing really entertaining going on right now. So like I said, we're gonna cut and I'll come back to it when it starts getting pretty close to finish. All right, so about at this point is when I start cooking it without the lid on. Cause like I said, we want it to get all that moisture in those noodles and it helps cooking out like the milk and stuff like that, but still getting your noodles. See how much that's evaporated. So about at this point is when I'll kick down the heat to about a three. And just kind of let it cook out on its own without the top. So you're getting all that moisture out of there. So you're not getting soggy noodles. You're gonna get some nice al dente if you want to do some French. It means teeth. It's normally what you're looking for whenever you're making pasta because the proper way to make pasta, it's not all the way cooked. You don't want soggy noodles, that's disgusting. Al dente means teeth, it means to bite. So even if we're making, it doesn't matter if we're making hamburger helper or we're making fresh pasta. You still want your pasta to be done right. There is a wrong way to cook pasta, even if you're doing hamburger helper. Like, just so many of these little tips, like, it'll make your hamburger helper so much better. You're welcome. This is a free channel. Enjoy the services. Enjoy some free fun tips. So if you want to come in here and get the go look at this. And about at this point, this is where I'll cut the heat completely and just let the residual heat do its thing. Because at this point, most of the liquid's gone. So any of that steam is just going to be flavor. So we're just wanting to finish getting all that extra liquid out to where it's a nice one consistency. And almost there. Just let it sit for a second. You want to come in and give it a good old look. I'll give it a good nice stir. This is about almost where I want it. It's pretty, pretty close. So, cut the heat completely, like I said. That way, another cool thing is you don't forget about it so you don't walk away. And then you leave your burner on. Not like I have any expertise with that. So, got our nice little dish here. Picked out special for the occasion. Oh, I need to get a ladle. Yeah, I'm gonna get a better utensil. Lost survivors, it's okay. We're not perfect. We're just making some tuna helper. Yeah. 
Don't worry about getting every little last bit. You can do that later. Or you can let it cook a little bit more. Or you can just waste it. It's honestly up to you. It's not, it's not your channel. It's not my channel. Whatever you want to do. And the most important part to any dish. Move this out of the way. Do you guys know what this is? Do you know if it's parsley? Do you know if it's cilantro? Let me know down in the comments. And I'll take a nice little sprig here. And it didn't go in the middle, but it's okay. Not everything has to be perfect. So that's going to be our tuna helper garnished with what you think it is in the comments once again do you think this is parsley or do you think this is cilantro I'll let you know in the next video this has been me making some tuna helper for you guys hope you enjoyed it I'd love to do some more of this fun stuff I'll see you guys in the next video